Hello everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. Today we're going to get started on a brand new concept which is concept number 6, quadratic functions. Now, what is a quadratic function? A quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form of y equals x squared plus bx plus c. Okay? Here we have some examples of what would be considered a quadratic function. So here we have y equals 3x squared, that is a form of a quadratic function. y equals x squared plus 9, it's a quadra quadratic function. And y equals x squared minus x minus 2. Okay? Now, let's get into how to solve quadratic functions. Now, a graph of a quadratic function is actually going to look a little different from our, our regular graphs, from um, different kinds of functions or even equations. So here, it is explained that the graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola, and the parabola is pretty much a graph where the line is actually a U-shaped curve. Now, um, it could be facing up like this, or it could be facing downwards like this. It's just two different ones, but um, they're both parabolas, whether it's facing up or down. They are both parabolas. Now, something else that I want you guys to learn today is about the, about symmetry. Now, what that means is if I were to fold this um, graph right in half, both sides would match. So, that fold right there is actually called the axis of symmetry, spelled like this. Something else that is also important is identifying the vertex. Now, what is a vertex? You see how our parabola is U-shaped? Now, let's take... Let's take this one, for example. We have a U-shape right there. Now, our vertex... is actually either our highest or lowest point in our parabola. But it's not up here because it has arrows. We don't know where that ends. It would be right here. So remember I said it could be our highest or our lowest. In this specific parabola, because of the way it's going, it's going up, our lowest point is zero actually it would be identified as this why because our y point is at zero and so is our x point and that is where our lowest point is so our vertex is at zero zero and it is at the minimum Okay, now let's say we have a parabola that's a little different. Let's say it's over here. Oh, 
Okay, let's say we have a parabola that looks like this. How would I identify my vertex? Now, in this case, our parabola is shaped like an upside down U or an N, even. Um, and our point is right here. That will actually be, in this case, our highest point. Not our lowest this time, it's our highest. So highest point in our parabola. That is our vertex. Now, how would we go ahead and do what we did right there? So, we see that for y, it is at point 2. So for y, we're going to put 2. And for x, we're actually going to put negative 2 because it's right above our negative 2. So it's going to look like this. This is our x and this is our y. And it is at a maximum. So when it is our highest point, it is at a maximum. And when it is at our lowest point, it is at a minimum. Okay? So that is how we would graph our previous parabola. And this is how we would graph graph this parabola okay now let's move on into your assignment for very well here on the board i have three different parabolas what we are going to be doing is going to be identifying the vertex as well as the if it is at a minimum or at a maximum and remember that is going to vary whether um our parabola is a u-shape or an n-shape so let's pay close attention to that. Let's do one together, just as a little refresher, and I'm gonna have you guys solve the other two as your assignment for today. So the one that we're gonna go over together today is going to be this one right here, okay? So just by looking at this vertex, do I know if this is at a minimum or a maximum? I know that I'm looking at it at a minimum because it is facing upward and this is our lowest point in this case. So for here, for it is at a blank, it would be a minimum. And that's what I'm gonna put right there. So this parabola is at a minimum. The vertex, I'm sorry, is at a minimum. And the coordinates of the lowest point, which is right here, would be uh, 1 for x, which is right under our first line, and a negative 1 for y, because it's down here. So that is the vertex, and it is at a minimum. Okay, so here you have the other two examples that I want you guys to go over by yourselves. Remember, you're just identifying the vertex and whether it is at a minimum or a maximum. If you have any questions on that, please don't hesitate and ask. I'm here to help. I hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon. Goodbye.